Welcome to this Tyrannus Quick Tip. In this Quick Tip, we're going to talk about what Differential does. Now, Differential is something that you're going to spot in the Mixer menu when you're creating your outputs, and a subscriber has asked me what it actually does and how it works. So, this is for you. Before we talk about the theory and then show you what Differential's doing in real life, just a couple of things that we need to cover. First of all, differential is not a replacement for proper setup of your servos and flight control surfaces. So here we're looking at one of the wings of uh, Texumo, and you'll notice that the servo arm is exactly at 90 degrees uh, when the control surface is in its neutral position. So that means that I have equal throws. I've also spent a bit of time making sure that the rod is in the right hole so that the servo throws that I'm getting gives me the right deflection on the control surface. Differential is not an excuse for not doing the mechanical setup properly and getting that right first. Differential is a way for us to actually change how much up and how much down we get out of an aileron. So we'll cover that in a second. Second thing, we're not actually going to use this model in the video. It's just too big for me to show you what's going on. The little model that I've created is just like a pretend wing that will show you differential in action. I'm aware that the ailerons are actually the wrong way around for that, but it will work for the video fine. So let's go back to the radio and explain what differential actually is. Differential is something that we need because the wing doesn't provide the same amount of control input in each direction. So let me put a couple of slides up to explain what I mean. Here is a symmetrical aerofoil, the kind of wing that you'd find on 3D acrobatic planes. And as you move the aileron up and down into the stream of air coming above and below the wing, you get the same kind of control input. So whether you're looking at an aileron or um, some other control surface at the back of a symmetrical aerofoil, whether it goes up and down, either direction gives you the same amount of control. However, if you're going to do a unsymmetrical wing, what you'll find is that because the way the wing works, it's actually creating lift by creating a low pressure area above itself and a higher pressure area below in comparison, then the aerofoil actually causes some weird effects at the back. So the control surface actually has to move more into the lower pressure air to get the same amount of control. So this is what differential is all about helping us set up. And what we'll do now is we'll move back to the bench and I'll actually show you it in action. In the insert, we actually have a little um, flying wing. So here we have our two ailerons set up here. And what I'm gonna do is just show you on the radio it all working. So here is the left aileron and here's the right. Now what you'll notice is that the left aileron is actually going up an awful lot more than the right one. And that's just because of the way that the system's set up. The servos, one of them is actually the on the way round and we have the two aileron channels working independently. So differential is allowed us to gonna fix this because right now I'm gonna have more of a turn in that direction than in that direction. And just to prove it, just look how much of a shadow we're getting under the left hand edge compared to the right hand edge at the edge of the stick throw. You can see that the left hand aileron is, is actually the right way round. It's getting much higher the right hand aileron is actually going down more than up and that's the wrong way round. So differential is help us gonna fix this because what we want is we want the same throw for each of the ailerons in each direction. And we want a little bit more above the wing when it goes up and a little bit less going down. So the left one is actually looking great. The right one is the one we're gonna need to change. The right one is plugged into channel three. So let's go and change everything in the menu. So we'll go into the model and we'll go down into the mixer. And here's the two mixers at the moment. Channel one is 60% uh, and channel three is 60% as well. Now channel three is the right hand aileron and we're gonna to have to play with that. Right now, the first thing I'm gonna to have to do is change it so that I get the same up throw as the left hand aileron. So let's go and edit that first. First thing I'm gonna do is actually increase the weight so that I get the same movement. So if I increase that to about 80, let's just see how that works. Maybe slightly more. 
Right, I would say both those ailerons are going up at the same amount. But now, my right aileron is going way too far down. It's almost at the limit of its physical movement. This is where differential comes in. We can actually go down to the differential and select the number and a positive value should reduce the direction in one way and the negative value will reduce it in another. So I'm actually going to increase my negative differential. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to hold the aileron. Whoops, let me What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to hold the aileron so that I can see the effect I'm having. So there it is right the way down. And while it's over there, I'm going to reduce that number. That's the one I want. You can see it coming up. So we want it so that it goes down the same as the other side. So the other side goes down about that much. And now that side does as well. Maybe a fraction more. So what we're doing here is we're trying to get the ailerons to go down exactly the same amount. And I would say that's pretty close. So what differential is, is doing is taking the travel off one side than the other. So now our ailerons have much higher movement and they're the same and they go down about the same amount. So that's how differential works. It's about changing the amount of movement in one direction to give you the control that you need if you're going into different airflow. Thank you for taking the time to watch that video. There are lots of other videos on the channel and they're carefully ordered into playlists. So you may find that there are other videos on this same subject that you can go and watch. So I would recommend going into the playlist area of Painless360 YouTube channel and looking around and seeing what there is. You never know what you might find. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and happy flying.